Okay, welcome everyone. I'm Ann Balsamo. I serve as the Dean of the School of Media Studies here at the New School, and I'm delighted to welcome you tonight to the New York premiere of the film Flying Paper, produced by the School of Media Studies faculty member Nitin Sawani. I want to mention very briefly the other faculty from the School of Media Studies who contributed to this project. Rafael Parra, who spent many hours working with Nitin on all manner of fine tuning and post production, to Melissa Friedling, and also to Deanna Camille. Their contributions ranged from providing expertise in editing and post production to helpful gui editing guidelines and guidance for the work in progress. In addition, and I know Nitin will acknowledge um, these people later, several students also contributed talent and skills in filming, editing, animation, and website creation. This to me marks the unique quality of the School of Media Studies. It is a place where faculty colleagues give generously of their time and attention and expertise to worthy projects. It is a place that attracts talented students to contribute creative energy and skills and talent because the projects inspire them. I'm very proud to be associated with this, with this program, with the School of Media Studies, where people actually pitch in and help people out with their projects, their passion projects, because they're inspiring and they're worthy. I'm really proud of Nitin's production. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm very much looking forward to tonight's screening. So with that, again, I welcome you tonight and turn the events over to Melissa Friedling. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anne. Um, Anne Balsamo is our Dean of the School of Media Studies, and thank you to the School of Media Studies for co-sponsoring this event. My name is Melissa Friedling. I am the Director of Undergraduate Programs in the School of Media Studies, and I've also had the pleasure over the last, I, don't, I wanna, should I give it away, like three years, of, um, of watching this film grow and develop and come together in various iterations, and it's been a pleasure um, watching the project and actually being a little bit a part of it being in the seat when, when it was in rough cuts and stuff like that and giving feedback and to this wonderful group of makers who were so open to uh, hearing from their colleagues and from students and from our whole um, community. Um, and those people are uh, Nitin Sani, Rafael Para, and Roger Hill, um, and they're all here. And Nitin's gonna tell us a little bit about um, the program that we're gonna have tonight, which is more than just the film. We're gonna have a talk back and we're gonna have a little short, but I'll let Nitin tell you about it. I also wanted to talk about one of the other co-sponsors of this event with School of Media Studies is uh, uh, the Students, uh, Students for Justice in Palestine chapter of the New School, which is co-sponsoring this event and would like who's ever interested um, in joining to add their name to a sign-up sheet on the table outside. Um, so without further ado, I'd love to invite Nitin up here to tell us more about tonight's program. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hi, Nitin. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Melissa. Thanks to all of you for coming out tonight. It is really heartwarming to see you all for our New York premiere of Flying Paper. Um, I also want to thank the University Student Senate, which uh, gave us a small grant to support tonight's event. Uh, and that's going to fund the lovely Palestinian food you're going to have tonight from Tanarin after the screening. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of uh, warmth and energy in this room from many, many of you, uh, the faculty and students who've helped us in our journey in making this film for the last four years. Uh, it's a testament to the New School for supporting these kinds of efforts. Um, it's been a big journey for me and Roger, which you'll hear more about uh, later. But I wanted to start out by talking about a journey uh, that I just took very recently. Uh, and that journey happened in Guatemala. Uh, I wanted to start by giving you a little introduction to a, a short film that I found in Guatemala two weeks ago. It was very, very uh, coincidental uh, that this happened. Uh, Chic Wu, or Ala de Papil in Spanish, uh, is Paper Wing. Uh, it's a beautiful short film, about 12 minutes long, 
that you're going to have a chance to see. And I want to say a little bit about how we found this film. Uh, this is the town of Komolapa. It's in the north of uh, uh, Guatemala. It's, it's about an hour uh, by bus, by chicken bus, as I had to realize, uh, to, uh, uh, from Guatemala City. And it, it looks you know, like this quaint, sleepy town, like many towns you might expect in Guatemala. But it turns out it has a very deep, deep history, uh, which I learned about as I spent time in the town. Uh, I was there with my student, Julian, uh, investigating artistic practices in Guatemala after the genocide. There was 20 years or maybe 30 years of uh, military oppression in Guatemala where um, a quarter million uh, indigenous Mayans were, uh, were killed. Um, and I should add, supported by our very own CIA, but I won't get into that. Um, this town uh, is a testament to the resilience of uh, the Guatemalan uh, indigenous cultures because they've, they've really tried to uh, rethink what they can do after the genocide. Um, this wall is a really interesting testament to that. It's a very, very long wall throughout Komalapa, uh, which has murals about the massacres and uh, how people survived them. And above the wall, you can see our graves, those, those multicolored, uh, that's a cemetery, uh, multicolored graves. Um, and so we spent a lot of time in the town interviewing uh, a collective of artists that we had gone to, we had heard about called Kamin. Uh, these are slides that Kamin sent me, uh, so they're in Spanish, but essentially they're a, an art collective uh, that really combines uh, visual um, uh, imagery, uh, poetry, music, and more recently film in what they do. And they have a very kind of participatory process of working uh, in the community. Uh, when we arrived that evening, uh, there was a poetry event happening, and it turns out that my friend Julio was uh, one of the curators of the event. He, he had been invited to, to speak about um, his work collecting poetry all over Central America, and they, they, they had many readings there. Uh, this is Julio and my student. We were interviewing uh, one of the members of the collective, an indigenous woman, who does theater of healing uh, as a practice as part of the collective. Uh, and then Julian and I interviewed many others, including uh, some of the founders of the collective, Angel, Fernando, Ed Eduardo, and so on. And they told us a lot about the ways they function and their, their participatory practices. Uh, and then Chimal, she actually um, did some of the music for the film, and she, uh, she played me uh, a piece that, uh, that she wanted me to hear. So the film had, uh, it's a narrative fiction, they, they scripted it, and they have child actors that they trained to work on the film. And uh, the director, actually, I wanted to just say a few words that he, we recorded an interview with Edgar uh, Shabukan, but we were unable to, um, to put that together because I don't think the quality was good enough to show tonight. But I wanted to have, you know, I asked Edgar a couple of questions about the making of the film, and it was very interesting how you talked about the philosophy of how Kameen works in the community, uh, how it's more about friendship um, and a creative, ex creative exchange rather than economic and material exchange, and how most of the members of Kameen were actually involved in the making of the film in very different capacities from music to photography, production, and so on. Uh, they're very much trying to put these kinds of projects out in the community, uh, and in some cases collaborating with other um, uh, experts and artists in Guatemala City uh, but trying to build that capacity in Komalapa themselves. Um, the film is one of the few films I've uh, come across that's shot and produced in Kiche, which is one of the 22 Mayan languages in Guatemala. Uh, and it's really a testament. The production quality and what you're about to see is a testament to what an indigenous community can do uh, with film. Uh, and it's also quite exciting that it's a film about the resilience of children uh, through kites uh, despite adversity, which is also the theme of our film. So I'm going to let uh, our uh, uh, producers of the event show you this film, and I'll come back and talk a little bit about Palestinian cinema after that. Thank you. <laughs> 